talk to me a little bit about building one's own personal brand. You know, you've done a, a what seems to be a great job of building the Jeff Greenfield brand. Um, you know, and I'm sure there are plenty of other marketers out there who would like to consider the same. What what advice would you give to a marketer or anyone for that matter looking to do the same kind of thing? Well, thank you. First off, um, I, I think one of the one of the most important things is you want to have a, a consistent message across yeah. wherever you're at. And I think one of the biggest disconnects that marketers tend to forget about is is that they forget that your 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 personal brand online is kind of like your dating profile. And my wife and I we love we love watching these reality TV dating shows. Right now we're really into the Indian matchmaking show. We 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 absolutely love it. But I see the the same consistent message across all of them, which is you know in the Indian matchmaking show that you know. You're, you're looking at, they call it the bio data, the sheet that the matchmaker gives you on the person. Mm-hmm. And there's a photo. And and there's a lot of times complaints that the photo doesn't look like the person the way they look now. Sure. Uh, and and that's, that's a big disconnect. And especially in today's world where it's so easy to have a meeting via Zoom. Uh, and so you're going to meet this person very quickly uh, from a business perspective. Please just... Do do yourself a favor and update your photo on LinkedIn and across everything so that it looks like you today. A friend of mine here locally, uh, I was on his his LinkedIn the other day, and I, I swear to you, and, and he's my age. His photo was from high school. Oh. I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> and and I know that people want to put their 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 you know you want to put your best picture out there and and. I always tell people, first off, you do not have to have a professional photo taken. If you just go into photos that friends have taken of you, you really want a photo when you're when you're smiling and when you're happy, uh, because you want to make sure that you try to come across like you truly are. Sure. And that's always the best thing. So right. I, I think that the first thing is, is to do that. Um, but the second thing is to really you know, step back and look at your, think about your story. Think about the story that you want to want to say and, 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 and put out there uh, and also understand that your, your story, you know, is going to be fluid based upon what you're doing now, but always at least once a quarter, look over everything with a critical eye. And one of the best ways to do that is to like take your LinkedIn and print it up on a piece of paper hmm. and force yourself to read it on print. Cause sometimes when you read it, you'll take out a pen and you'll start editing things. And you'll look at it with a critical eye and you'll be like, oh, my God, I, why did I put that there? I can't believe I did that. Because when you're cutting and pasting things into LinkedIn, the boxes are small and you forget about things. Sure. So, so I think it's important to just kind of look at it and just make sure that the story makes sense. And then also reach out to like a mentor or someone else to have them look at it because it's, a good idea. it's the toughest thing to look at things through your own own lens. I mean- I mean, one of the one of the toughest things is building your own brand or building your own company's brand. It's always easy to be critical of someone else. It's sometimes very tough to criticize yourself, <laughs> but find someone that you have in your life. Like my wife is 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 my is my coach, if you will, and my partner. And whenever she proofreads something that I put out there, uh, she has a trick that she learned from her news days, which is she reads she reads backwards she starts from the last word hmm. because what ends up happening is when you read a paragraph you tend to read it and you skip over words sometimes you find duplicate words but when you read backwards you actually have to read every single word and it's a great way to hmm. catch all sorts of issues with it as well but i would say your photo look at things with a critical eye and make certain that your story makes sense for who and what you are today cool that's great great advice 